So in the previous video, we saw that there was a direct connection between expanding 1 plus x to the n and Pascal's triangle. Now we're trying to see, are there any other patterns that we could see? So if we've got uh, two things being added together within a bracket, and we've got to the power of a whole number, then what do we get? So a plus b to the 0 is still just going to be 1. No change there. a plus b to the 1 is just going to be a plus b. Now a plus b squared, if you expand a plus b times a plus b, is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Okay. Now, as for a plus b cubed, now that's going to be a plus b times a plus b squared. So a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So we've got a times a squared, which is a cubed, a times 2ab, so 2a squared b, a times b squared, so a b squared. Then multiplying b by a squared, we get a squared b b times 2ab is 2ab squared, and b times b squared is b cubed. So we have a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. So a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. And this is where we should be spotting Pascal's triangle again. 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1. So the coefficients from Pascal's triangle are still there. But what is more important now is the fact that we spot these patterns with the A's and the B's. Because what we're seeing is that the A's with each progressive term, reduce 1 in the power, in the index, whereas the b's are increasing in power. You should also spot that the indices of the a and the b are always going to add up to this index here. So in this case, they're adding up to 3. Okay. So a plus b to the 4 would start with a to the 4. Pascal's triangle says it should be 4 as the coefficient. a will reduce in power, b will increase in power. The next coefficient is 6. a will reduce, b will increase. Then we'll have 4. a will reduce, b will increase. And finally 1. a will reduce, b will increase. And so here is what a plus b to the 4 must look like. Then a plus b to the 5 would be a to the 5 plus 5, a to the 4, b. So a is reducing, b is increasing. Then 10, a cubed, b squared, plus 10, a squared, b cubed, plus 5, a, b to the 4, plus finally, b to the 5. And so now we can expand whatever we like, because now we can replace the a and the b with whatever. Now what you should be seeing here, with each of these terms, is a situation where we've got the NCR formula, so Pascal's triangle, the element from Pascal's, so Pascal's, times by a to the something times by b to the something. So each of these elements have these three parts. Now it doesn't look like these end points, these end terms, have those three parts. But remember that what a to the 5 is, is 1 from Pascal's, times by a to the 5, times by b to the 0. That's what that means. And the b to the 5 is representing 1 times a to the 0, times b to the 5. Okay? So, in actual fact, they are 
of precisely the same um, format, if you will. So this is what we need to look out for, and it is this that will enable us to expand using the binomial expansion.